everyone, I'm Red Herring. Um, over the weekend, my Facebook buddy Jasmine had entered my name into a giveaway um, from the Flower Pot Company's uh, Facebook, and we actually won. So the two of us won. I think there was some other winners, um, but it was Tag of Friend Day. So if you and your friend uh, were chosen in this tag, then uh, you both win a menstrual cup. So. Um, they shipped mine out on Monday. Today is Wednesday. I actually got it yesterday, but I had company over, so I wasn't able to video <laughs> my husband's making faces at me. <laughs> so uh, this company is in Washington right there, and they're not too far away from me. Um, I do live in Washington, and um, so it only took overnight to get to me, and I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing for you. I did already rip open so elegantly uh, this package, but I'm going to stop this and go ahead and take it out so I don't make a whole bunch of noise while I'm pulling it out of the, the poly So mailer. here is the um, bag and tag that the cup comes with. Uh, and, um, sorry, I just saw my nail on, on screen and it looks so bad. But, um, so I don't know if they make these bags themselves or if they order them, but it's a, it's a good, um, canvas bag. It'll last a long time if you use your bags to store your cups in. Uh, I can see kind of through it, um, you probably can't see that because I have a window to this side of me today, but I can kind of see through it so that it, there is a good air ventilation through this bag. Um, here is their little booklet, the flower pot. So this is called the Bloom um, because they have two different sizes. I think the smaller one is called the Bud. And um, they do say that the larger one, which is the Bloom, um, is for somebody over the age of 30 or who have um, had children. And I really don't follow those guidelines. Uh, there's some other factors that you need to think about before you choose which size um, because I can use a, a smaller size and I know somebody with a lower cervix would probably want a smaller uh, cup. I mean, it depends on what uh, style cup or what shape cup you get. So um, I really don't uh, don't follow those guidelines, the, the age uh, limit on, on these cups. So this booklet is, um, it, it talks about uh, the, the cup and some folds, how to position yourself, how to insert, um, how to remove. I'm just kind of going through it, how to clean it and whatnot. And they do have their website listed right there. And I will leave the, um, the website in the description below as well as their Facebook uh, page so that you can go um, to their Facebook and like on their link if you want to have any um, information sent directly to you. Um, here you can see that it is manufactured in China and then they assemble it here in the United States and uh, for assembling it, uh, it just means that they package it and tag it and whatnot. Um, and some more information about the cup. Now this paper that they printed this on is a flower paper. Um, there, I don't know if it says, I think it says that in the front of this card. So you can plant this booklet. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's little um, bumps in, in the paper and all those little bumps are seeds. So you just plant the booklet or page and water it and you can grow. I don't know what kind of seeds are in here, maybe just wild flower or something. Um, like I said, I didn't really read it, but I did notice that it does say that here. So then I'll just open this. Uh, the cup is packaged in a plastic bag, so I'll pause that and open it. Uh, you can see here it's marked with an L, indicating that I did get a large. So here is the bloom from the Flower Pot Company. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's the company name. I guess I should have really looked at it. It just says the Flower Pot on here, so I guess those are the cups and then 
Uh, each cup has their, their own name, the bloom and the bud, for the different sizes. Um, but uh, it has a thin stick style stem and it is pretty short. It looks to be uh, solid, a solid piece of silicone in there. Uh, there are three grip rings. They're not really raised a whole bunch and they are nicely rounded. There's some grip rings on the secondary rim down here. There's four of them. Uh, four suction release holes and they're kind of um, I'm sorry I'm kind of looking at them it it seems like they're not completely uniform all of them this particular hole um, from the outside in is wide um, all the way through and then this hole here it seems like the hole is wider on the outside than it is on the inside it got it's um, a little bit smaller I'll see if I can show that on screen so there's that hole in the back and this hole uh, here seems larger than that other one um, but there are four and I I'm sure that that wouldn't be a problem um, if you're a real stickler for uniform uh, holes then that might be a problem for you but it really doesn't matter to me I just wanted to bring that up there is a seam that runs on the outside of the rim and I can feel that with my fingertips. Um, I don't see any other seams that need to be mentioned, uh, like on, on the sides of the cup or anything. I don't see anything like that that needs to be mentioned. The only markings on this cup are the inside, which say 15 milliliters and 7.5 milliliters. There's no other markings uh, anywhere on this cup that I see. Um, the inside of those markings are on the inside. I don't know if I already said that. Uh, and then there's no other um, writing or marking on the outside. Um, it's a medium, a medium soft cup, I would say. Um, I'm not going to do a comparison or anything like that in this video. It was just kind of an unboxing. unboxing. Um, but I do have another cup that's exactly like this. So I wanted to say that um, here is my um, blossom cup. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this is a blossom cup and I had purchased this um, probably a year, maybe over a year ago. And um, here is the the flower pot and they are exactly uh, the same the same stem the grip rings up on top um, the markings on both right there the um, grip rings on the bottom and uh, I never when I did my video of this cup I didn't notice if the holes were the same or not uh, I just mentioned that there were four holes, um, but this one I, I held it up and I, I automatically um, saw that two of the holes that was in my view at that time um, were different different sizes. So um, it still seems to be fine though, I mean that won't uh, make it so you can't use it. They just, they feel exactly the same. The silicone on this is uh, a little bit opaque. You can can kind of see through it. Um, so here's my finger right up against the silicone and if I bring it away from it you can kind of see that my finger is through there um, or in there. Uh, so it is opaque and if I pinch down on it and now they have these grip rings here but if I pinch down on it and pull my fingers. My fingers don't slide really fast over that cup so it has a good grip to it. Um, but I only used, well I used the blossom. I tried it 
quite a while ago, so I can't remember uh, how it went. <laughs> I guess I could review my video again, but um, I will uh, test this cup out again since it's been a while, um, or this particular cup from uh, the Flower Pod Company. I'll test that out and um, let you know, and I am on my period right now, so I'll be able to uh, let you know soon. Um, and I'll go ahead and prep this cup tonight and give it a try. So until then, um, again, their um, information is in the description, description below if you're interested in checking out the Flower Pot Menstrual Cup. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, you know, I just realized that some of you have been leaving me messages through YouTube and they don't give me any kind of a notification or indication that I have um, private messages here. So um, if you leave the comment on the bottom, I'll see it. If you catch me on um, on Facebook, I'll see it. Even if, it, if you're not my friend um, and it goes to the other box, I check that, but I don't normally check my messages from YouTube. I'll try to be better about that, but it just isn't like right someplace that I always see. So I actually have to click on a link and then click on another link to be taken to my messages and um, there's no like little indication that I have some messages. So please just leave a comment or get catch me on Facebook, Facebook if you have a request or comment that you want um, to be private. So I'm really sorry about that, but um, until YouTube makes it uh, a little easier uh, to, to see those um, messages, then I might miss it. So I'm sorry about that, but um, I do have uh, two other unboxings for today, so if you're interested in checking those out, uh, look for them. They'll be up soon. Till then, take care.